Hey guys, it's what's for dinner. Hey, it is, um, I don't even know what day it is. I think it's Groundhog's Day, yes, because things keep happening over and over and over again. Um, so last week we were able to score some yellow um, fin tuna from Hawthorne. Um, I never say the, the fishery place correctly, so somebody that jumps on will tell, tell me that I'm wrong, um, but maybe also could correct um, the place that we get the fish. So Tommy Gomes will know, and I can actually type it into the, um, the chat afterwards. So we're going to have some yellowfin um, tuna tonight. We're going to sear it, and we're going to sear it in sesame oil. And I'm making a marinade that has chopped cilantro, so it smells really good in here. And I'm not the best at knife cutting, or cutting, so I'm not a chef. I always envy all of you chefs out there who can just use a knife and chop things so easily. So I'm going to throw it in the bowl here and to that we're going to add fresh squeezed lemon. I'm sorry, limes. So here we go, some lime juice. And this lime is actually a lime even though it's yellow. It's from our neighbor's tree. So I'm gonna use one of Jan's, ooh, look at the difference in the juice, wow. So much juicier. So throw some limes in there. We're gonna also throw jalapenos in there. So the jalapenos will go in. Okay. Throw jalapenos in. I'm gonna put a lot of jalapenos in there and some more lime juice. I just don't wanna bore you with it. And then get your trusty grater out and you're gonna grate some ginger. So we've got cilantro, lime juice, jalapenos, and ginger. Sound good so far? And we're gonna add, I'm kinda of winging this, okay guys? We're gonna add soy sauce. How's everybody doing? Everybody doing well today? Hey, we've had rain, we've got sun, we've got crazy dark clouds, big giant sky out there. I'm gonna add a little fish sauce, okay? I've only ever used fish sauce one other time in my life, so my friend Hebe uses it a lot, and she's encouraged me to use it as well. And I'm gonna add a little bit of this just because I like things spicy. I'm gonna scoop some in. This is that red, chili sauce you get at the Asian market. Then the tuna is gonna hang out in that marinade, okay? And when I get ready to cook, I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna sear on both sides the tuna, and then I'm gonna put half of the sauce in the pan with it searing, and then I'm gonna pour the rest of it on top and slice avocados on top of that as well as drizzle a little bit more um, of the fresh lime and a little bit of the jalapeno. So that's the, um, the yellow fin tuna, which look how pretty it is. It looks really good. So delicious, delicious. And don't forget, you can still order and um, have delivered uh, fresh fish. We need to support our peeps. The other thing I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna roast in, on a cookie sheet, and you know, we all just snap the ends off of the asparagus, right? So snap the ends off, and because we've got an Asian theme going, I'm gonna drizzle some of the rice, um, sesame oil, sesame oil, and I'm gonna sprinkle sesame seeds that are already toasted, but I'm gonna drizzle them on there, and then I'm gonna roast in the oven the asparagus. So. That's what's for dinner. We're gonna have the seared uh, um, yellowfin, cilantro, soy, lime, jalapeno sauce, and ginger. And then we're also gonna have um, the roasted asparagus that looks so good with the um, sesame oil and sesame seeds. So what else is happening out there? Is everybody staying sane? Everybody is rocking and rolling? We um, had a really cool Zoom call today and we had a special guest speaker. And basically, he calls this not a recession, but a pan session. And the reason he said it's different is 
the big Great Depression in 2007, or recession, I should say, in 2007, uh, in California, in San Diego, we had 20,000 homes listed for sale. And many of those homes were um, on money that was borrowed at zero, down, 3% down, a lot of leveraging going on because of the banks. And what was great this time, thank God, um, we only had a little under 5,000 homes listed on the market going into this um, COVID-19 situation here in San Diego and a huge amount of pent up demand. So they feel that the housing market is going to be very strong after this. There are multiple offers being made still. Yesterday, one of our colleagues had a listing that had multiple offers. Um, another agent, same exact thing. So coincidentally, I mean, through all of this, there are people still buying and selling property because they have to. They need a place to live. They're relocating. They were in the process. Um, etc. Plus, back in 2007, the interest rates were about 6.5%, and now they're 3.5%. So money is way better. Housing um, inventory is low. Back in 2007, inventory was high. Interest rates were high. It was a ginormous crash of um, our economy due to the banking crisis. And now, with the pandemic going on, we're still seeing activity. We're still seeing hope out there. I think all of us just need to be super, super hopeful and keep our minds, you know, clued in. Mike Anthony is watching. Mike Anthony was my boyfriend before uh, in Conneaut, Ohio. <laughs> so funny. And Deb Wyan is watching, and Deb is a client of ours and now a dear friend. And I can't wait, Deb, to go to concerts. Patty Adams is on this too. I mean, come on. We can't wait to see live music, go to concerts. Um, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to start sharing Randy Driscoll. Randy Dr Driscoll used to live in California. She now lives in Nashville. I met her through Ken Druck, um, and Ken Druck is going to be a very special guest of our company um, Zoom call on Tuesday morning at 8.30. I'm super, super excited. Um, Ken is been on Oprah, CNN, um, Larry King. He's very, very well known for... Um, dealing with you know self-care um uh adversity going through you know a lot of stress stressful times so anyway i met randy driscoll i was sidetracking for a second and uh, randy now lives in in uh, nashville and randy is streaming live with her music right now and she does a concert every single day at 4 p.m so i'll make sure to um put that on my Facebook wall so people who want to listen, she's really beautiful heart. She often has a guest person um, from somewhere in the country or world that performs with her or chats with her. So that's always kind of fun to see who her guest speaker is. So we hope you guys are good. Remember that we are staying physically distanced while staying socially connected. And that's virtually, right? So yesterday we gave keys to um, our client, Chef Billy, and his wife, Katie, and Jackson and JC, and we stayed in the car. It was like so crazy. I just wanted to hug them. But honestly, it's the first other people I've seen other than Philip and Mackenzie and four chickens in weeks. So it was just, I didn't want to leave. It was pouring down rain. They were standing outside in the rain, and I'm just talking and talking like motor mouth. I was like, oh my God. And then, and they're getting wet and getting soaked and they just want to go in the house and like unpack and like start living um, on the farm, Katie's farm, with the horses and the chickens and the dogs and the cats and probably gonna get goats and ducks too. But anyway, I was just so thrilled to see another human being other than, like I said, poor Philip, who uh, went for a walk. He's getting some exercise, which is really good. And then my friend Valerie, Valerie, look what I'm wearing. I got this one time for a gala, a big event, and I never wore it. And all of a sudden, because of my friend Sandra Viam, um, she's like, throw that thing on with your, with whatever. And now I love this necklace and I wear it all the time. So Valerie is the fashionista at Chateau, La, uh, Chateau Bellage, which is located on West Lewis in Mission Hills. And every day at two o'clock, every day, Valerie does a total fashion segment. Um, today she did black and white, um, 
The other day she did everything yellow and gold. One day she did everything blue. I'm waiting for my orange segment. Um, and she has things from cheap and cheerful all the way to more fancy and expensive. Um, Saturday when we do our wine tour of local wineries um, in our backyard, I will be sporting a Jennifer Grace kimono, uh, which I purchased from Valerie and I love it. So anyway, lots of cool things, lots of people doing things. Um, Sophia Karam, Jasmine, um, making facial masks. I have facial masks coming from Jasmine at um, Bellage and my friend Sophia sent one over yesterday as well. So, you know, anytime we go outside now, I think it's gonna be our new fashion accessory. Um, going forward. So love everybody, be safe, um, and I look forward to seeing you on the next What's for Dinner. And tomorrow we have a special surprise for What's for Dinner. Not sure what time it's going to be, but I know it's going to be a super special surprise. All right, see ya!